Here's five brain training exercises that you can do to help keep you sharp upstairs. One, take your right hand, touch it to your opposite shoulder. Get the opposite hand, thread it through, and then touch the outside of your arm. Give that a go a couple of times, and then try the other side. Once that's easy, you want to alternate between the arms. So you go one side and then the other side. Next, we want to take your right hand, touch it to your left ear. Then the opposite hand touches the opposite elbow. Now there's two ways you can do this. The first way, your elbow goes around, your hand goes around your head in the front. So see that arm is going around in the front. And then the other way you can do it is it's going up overhead. Then the next exercise is more about dual focus, dual task. This is really great for our concentration, our focus, and attention switching. So we can do one thing really well and then switch to the other. And it goes like this. Thumb goes up, other finger goes out and points to it. Then next finger down, next finger down, next finger down. Then the thumb that just went up, starts again so that we do it all on each side. So what you might notice as you do this exercise is when it gets to your third and then your little finger, that's the hardest moment. And there is a reason for this as well and that is that we don't use those these two fingers as much as our other fingers. So when we, you know, open the door or cut up our vegetables, we don't use these fingers as much. So it's really great to have those, um, you know, being challenged in a mental sort of sequence. Then we've got this really tricky toe one. Now, don't get disheartened if this one takes you a little bit of time to get the hang of, um, but roughly you wanna lift up your toe while you turn the opposite foot out. And then you wanna swap that to the other side and back again and back again. And then when this is easy, and this might take a couple of days to kind of get the hang of, and once you get the hang of it, you wanna make it a little bit tougher with the fifth exercise, the most challenging one we have for this video, which is adding in the fingers. So now the thumb is doing the same as the toe facing forward and the hand is facing out, but it's the opposite thumb to the foot as well. And this one really does take a bit of practice, but it's worth it. That's the whole point. These are difficult exercises because you want to go and stimulate your brain and use this type of physical, mental exercise. Remember that as you're mastering these exercises, you wanna be going on and trying some others. So there's a link in the description below with some other exercises on another video of mine, and I'll be releasing more in upcoming weeks. So as you're mastering these, try out new ones. That's the whole point of this sort of physical, mental exercise. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up so I know that you did. Subscribe to my channel so you get notified when new videos come out. Head over to masterrecall.com, drop in your email, and I'll make sure that you receive my exclusive memory tips that are only available to my subscribers.